Yes, sir. You're checking out SAB Radio. So you do Mr. 2 3. Special guest right here. You man, S K Y Z O O Sky Zoo. Yes, sir. You got a special date coming up too. August yeah. 11th, right? August 11th, the Salvation will be in stores. Jamla Duck Down. Jamla's ninth one the label. Duck Down is what's behind it, so you know what that's going to mean. All right, Duck Down season. Yeah. So you decided to sign with ninth one is Jamla. Yeah. So you had other, you know, offers on the table. Yeah, yeah. So what was your biggest decision? What was your biggest motivation? Uh, your biggest factor going with uh, ninth right, one? Right, right. Um, well, the thing about it was, you know, with Knife, Knife is someone who's always been more than just business and music. And, you know what I mean? He, he's family, you know what I'm saying? Knife is like family. All right, man. Knife is like family, you know, as far as how we get down and how we rock. We're real close. So it made sense because I know at the end of the day he's going to have the best interest of me, you know what I'm saying, the way I have my best interest, you know what I'm saying? So he's going to make sure that I go and do what I want to do. I mean, we had the conversation and he was like, yo, man, you know, I know you got other offers on the table. I want you to take what's best for you, you know what I mean? And once he said that, I knew what it was because I knew it wasn't a greed thing. I knew it wasn't nothing like that. And um, he was like, yo, you come over here, man. I'm going to let you do what you want. You know, ain't going to be no cuffs on you. Ain't going to be no, you got to do this or you can't do that or you got to change this and change that. Unless you do what you want. And once he said that, I knew the creative control was going to be there, the freedom and everything. I was like, let's rock. So you're the flagship artist, right? Yeah, the first one. It's a crew of us, man. It's me, my man Big Remo, GQ, Rhapsody, Tyler Woods, you know. So a little crew of us, you know what I'm saying? But I'm the first one up the bat, so, you know. So you've been in it for a while, right? Like back in the day, you were in the yeah. group Grits. Yeah, with your yeah. man Stack, Stack Bundles, R. right? Man, Stack, yeah. And um, you've been in it for a while, so yeah. I, I, well, I watched other videos with you, and you're real knowledgeable of how, how things work. A video with you, um, you're talking about the industry and how radio works. Right. So who who's the first person to really introduce you to the game and really school you on on how everything works? Um, wow. I don't know if there was anybody who necessarily schooled me to it. I think I sort of just observed and, and really became a student of what was going on. You know, whether it was magazines, TV, radio, or just being out and about in the streets and at the shows and at the events and just being hands-on and learning from experience. But as far as somebody just helping me, you know, once I got in the game and started making my way, somebody who gave me that, that good cosign when nobody else would was Knife Wonder, which is another reason why it only made sense to come back full circle and, and do it right, you know what I mean? So I'd leave it at that, yeah. All right. So um, you collaborate with Wale fairly often. You guys yeah. have some good chemistry. Yeah, yeah. So um, how, what's it like with you and Wale in the studio? Five minutes you recorded that joint? Yeah, Five literally, minutes. literally, yeah. Um, Wale's my man, you know, shout out to my man Wale. That's my homie for real, for real. And too many people in the game. That's genuine and about their word. Artists, producers, labels, execs, whatever it is. A lot of people are funny style in the game. And the deeper you get into the game, the more you learn that. There's certain people who, who mean what they say and say what they mean. And Wale is one of those dudes. You know, me and him is real tight. Because we connect beyond the music. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, he's from D.C. I'm from Brooklyn. But we have certain similarities as far as how we came up and, and, and what we're into. And it makes sense. So we get in the booth. It's dope. You know, I do records with a lot of people where we email verses back and forth. Wale's the one do it every time we do a record, we're in the studio together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's real organic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you, you're on a lot of features. I know, like, it seems like, you know, every couple of weeks is a new Sky Zoo record featured. You, you know, you do your yeah. thing. I know you reached out to my man Theo for uh, the Keep Doing Your Thing record. Yeah. So, like, who do you decide who to reach out to and do features with? Um, like, it, it depends. I mean, 90% of them, you know, a lot of the features, if it says featuring me, they reached out to me, you know what I'm saying? But um, somebody like a Theo, like you named, you know, how did I find out about Theo? I think I found him maybe MySpace or something like that. Or I don't even remember, you know, I'm, I may be wrong, but um, however we hooked up, I thought he was dope. I was like, yo, he's dope, you know, and he was like, yo, I want, is it cool if we do something? I was like, yeah, send it over, and we did it, you know, same thing with my man D Black, same thing with a lot of people out there. I do a lot of collabs with people, but um, it got to be right. It got to be somebody I feel, something I dig, you know, sometimes it's a business thing, but at the end of the day, my name is on it. So if I get on a joint, no matter if it's business, a lookout, personal, whatever it is, I'm going to make sure I burn it down because it's my name on it. So I'm going to make sure when I come on, I get busy. Okay. Uh. All right. So with a lot of your records, like, I feel, you know, like in a real special way, you're able to paint the curb. Like, you were able to work with the dude like Colin Monroe, then with the dude like Mano. Like, you yeah. bring consistency and you bring your brands and you can just do it however. So, like... Why, how, is it, how do you think your style is so versatile? Like, you're able to rock over so many different records. I think it's because of what I came up on. You know, I came up Brooklyn, New York, 718, all that, gritty, hood, the whole nine. But 
I always went to schools in different neighborhoods. Like, I never went to school in my neighborhood. I always went to real good schools. I always went to specialized schools where you had to take a test to get in. I always was, you know, in, you know, street smart and had my peoples and, you know, over there with it and, and doing everything that you hear in my music. But at the same time, I always was in school and, and always was real heavy with that, too. So I knew how to balance it. So with that being said... I was always attracted to different things, you know. I was listening to N.W.A. and and Cool G Rap and Big Daddy Kane and Nas and Jay and Big, and then I was listening to Nirvana and Red Hot Chili Peppers, and I was listening to John Coltrane and Miles Davis, and I was listening to Sade. Like I was listening to everything as a little kid, you know what I mean? Nine, ten years old, listening to everything, and it stuck. So when I get on a joint with Mano, I'm comfortable and I can bang it out, and we can get the joint and make it go crazy. And when I get on a joint with a Colin Monroe, I'm comfortable. And we can go in and make it crazy, you know. It's all about the versatility and being a true artist, you know what I mean, and not having any boxes around you. All right. Yeah. So definitely make sure you cop that August 11th. August 11th, the long-awaited, everybody and their mother been waiting for it forever, the salvation. August 11th, jam the duck down. I mean, it's, it's everything everybody's been wanting and, and everything that's been prepping for. When you hear me with, with the accolades and the best lyricists and the top ten and all that stuff, it's for this, mm -hmm. and my goal with this is to tell my story, but at the same time prove why I deserved all those accolades. And everybody who was ever a fan, why I deserve you being a fan, why I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to have it where you feel like, damn, I was holding the skies with flag up and he let me down. I'm not going to have it. You know, the album's going to make sure that you're like, yeah, I told you you should fuck with Sky. You know what I mean? So, you know, the album's incredible, man. I really love it. Um, August 11th is the date. Right now, the mixtape, The Power of Words, is out. Right now. DJ Drama, Static Selector, The Power of Words, free download, myspace.com slash skyzoo. That's myspace.com slash S-K-Y-Z-O-O. Drop the Twitter real too. Twitter.com slash The Real Skyzoo is spelled out the right way. The Real Skyzoo. Holla at me on that. Holla at me on the MySpace. The new website is coming up. All the info will be on the, on the MySpace page when that comes up in a couple weeks, and it's going to be incredible. So, you know, we're just building it up. The summer's going to be stupid. I can't wait to roll out these singles and get the album going. But in the meantime, get that mixtape for the free download right now. I right, appreciate it, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's cool. Already know. Born writer for all of the born writers who couldn't find them a pen to record what they lost sight of. We one and the same, I'm burning the whole light up. Feeling like I could see louder and talk brighter. So I talk to them without talking the night up. They see the parallels and how I carry them well.